Hey, you Maloix, you still around? Yeah, I'm still around. What, you think you're going to get rid of me that easy? Well, you kind of did, but let me explain to you, you know? Because I didn't like the way I left you in the lurch, you know, lurch. So what happened was, and you see, I haven't made a video or I haven't uploaded a video in quite some time. And some of you has probably said, oh, good, get rid of that freaking Russo once and for all. And I know a good bunch of you was wondering what happened to me. And uh, I did get a, quite a few emails from good buddies of mine asking that if I was okay, where was I, and all that sort. I'm not going to mention your names because I didn't embarrass the others who didn't. But anyway, you're much appreciated. You're part of Russo's crew. You always have, always will be, and you are in the will. The Russo will. Anyway, guys, what happened was like, I don't know, it was about 10 days ago or now already, time flies. We get a call about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning that the, one of my crew members' fathers passed away over in Italy. And, I mean, he was an old guy. He was in his 90s, and he was, the last few years wasn't that good. But, you know, still, when you get a call, it's unexpected. So I, I rounded up three or four of the guys and and Johnny and we uh, you know we just threw some stuff together and hopped in a limo and off to JFK airport and on to Alitalia and over to Milan and uh, you know uh, like I said it was uh, I didn't take Mrs. Russo it was just the five of us and you know we had to go to pay our respects that's what the Italians do so we went over to the apartment and uh, we, we met up with the, the wife, and like she's like in her early 90s and whatever. And, you know, it's funny when the Italians pass away, the old timers at least, you know, all the women, they dress in black for a freaking year or something, I think it is. I don't know. They don't do that here no more. But, you know, the old school, the old world Italians. So anyway, uh, you know, he, he passed away in his sleep, and again, that's the best way I guess you could pass away. I know that's how Russo wants to pass away in my freaking sleep, when I'm dreaming about whatever, and you fill in the blanks. But uh, so, hopefully, there was no pain; he just passed away and whatnot. So, you know, they had—they don't fool around. They had to wait the burial. It's like in the same freaking day. That's uh, you know. So we wrote her a freaking check. We gave her a new spaghetti bowl. She was happy. She was happy. And, uh, you know, I ended up doing some business over there, being I was there and whatnot. You know, closed a few deals and, you know, broke a few knee No, I didn't do that. We're back. But didn't have no time for YouTube. Didn't have no time to see you and say goodbye and whatever. But you know what? While I was away and this time off from posting and whatever, you know, it became a freaking routine. It's almost like I had to give you oral every freaking day and I was getting tired of giving you oral every day. So I, I kind of let, let me be honest with you. And I told my buddies, I says, I lost interest in YouTube. I've kind of even lost interest in cards. I didn't miss posting. All of a sudden it wasn't there, and, you know, wasn't there. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, like I said, I may take a break, it might be a year, I know I've said it before, I've come back, because I've done it out of need to, you know, I, my tubers, you mean a lot to me, but I gotta start thinking about me, and if I'm tired, I mean, I got other things I want to do, I want to do some traveling now as I'm getting old, I want to go and do, some, maybe I want to collect uh, or antique cars, or whatever it might be, and, not cars, cards, cars, cars, you know, like zoom, zoom kind of thing. Whatever it may be. So, but I do have some videos that I had already made, and it'd be a shame not to post them. So, you'll see videos for me. I don't know, maybe I got 10 or 12, I don't know, whatever. But then after that, it'll be, you know, when I'm in the mood, you know, and I can't tell you when that'll be. So, but anyway, that's the whole thing in a nutshell. I apologize. But, 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 but. Uh, I just want to say, you know, I, I know Jack Forrest, a good buddy of mine, is having a farting contest, you know. And I don't enter contests. I just don't do it. I don't want because I don't want anything and I don't send, I don't want you to send anything to me and uh, whatever. But uh, Jack, look, I, uh, 
I always like to give you the real deal. So since I woke up this morning, I've been trying to you know, generate some freaking gas so that I can give you the real deal. You know, a real fucking Italian fart. I can't do it. So you know what? I do believe, and I know for a fact, that sometimes farts, uh, they don't, when they come out, they don't explode or they don't have the ordinance or the effect at that moment. They are called unexploded farts. And they're all over the room here. I'm telling you, they just are. And Pignoli was sitting over in the corner with a freaking belly up and her legs up in the air and don't, you know, just better watch that carrot in the middle there. And because uh, I don't need no freaking little baby uh, dogs from the French poodle down the street to so keep it in your freaking sheath there, Pignoli. Anyway, but anyway, there's Pignoli unexploded farts, and I know I got some, maybe even Mrs. Russo, you know, but whatever. So anyway, what I did is I went this morning and I started f trying to find little crevices and whatnot where there was the unexploded farts. I found them. They're there. You got them in your house too. You just don't know it. All right. So what I did is I, I put I, all the ones I found. I put them in here, in the box. Now, you can't see them because they're farts. They're unexploded farts, though. Okay. But they're all in here, and you know you got to shake them up to really get the effect. But I wouldn't put them in with no cards because we don't want no smelly cards. Okay. So I'm telling you, Jack, all the unexploded farts are in here. Just bear with me if you don't mind. All right, and we'll see. Hold on. A little more, yeah, yeah, okay. Now, just listen, 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 listen. Okay. Is that enough? I don't know, Jack. Look, you know, I did this for you. How many people, other people, will go look for unexploded farts all over the carpets and the draperies? Oh, oh. Well, look, Jack, look, look. I wanted to enter your contest. I think they all exploded now, so the room, which I'm currently ventilating in, is uh, uh, definitely cleared, going to clear the air in about 20 minutes. I'm going to open the freaking window right now and let some of this cold air come in. But Jack, you know, I entered, but I don't want nothing. If I happen to be lucky enough to win this contest, the farting contest, you know what I want you to do? I think you said 50 bucks or something you were giving away. I want you to buy something for Haley. Yeah. I mean, after all, she's got a father that melts like six months a year. She only gets to see you like six months a year. So I want you to buy something for Haley for Christmas on Russo should he win. You know, young girls now, they want everything. And, you know, it's got old, you know. It's, it's not easy to come by, you know. So anyway, Jack, that's my respect for you and your freaking contest. Just don't ask me for any more, okay? All right, guys, look, I'm here for the moment. Enjoy the moment because tomorrow's moment may not take a chance to be here to the next day. All right, guys, ciao.